It's very bad. Yeah. It's very bad. When the earthquake happened, I made a personal decision to come to Haiti. Yeah. I lost a very dear friend of mine in the earthquake, and I made a promise to him that one day would come, and I had no other choice than coming here now to hold that promise. After the earthquake, um, a number of branches bank branches were closed, or some of them even collapsed. People could not get access to their own cash, cash they needed to protect themselves against this disaster, to buy food, medicine, water. So cash-based interventions were relevant in the context of Haiti. With a purely cash-based economy, um, we know that people have a very short-term view. Our credit agents, sometimes they have to go by foot, and sometimes we are very high in the mountains, so we have to walk. Uh, the number one issue is violence, it's crime. We know for a fact that uh, you know, these women who actually make the majority of street vendors um, get money taken away from them. These people, they can be robbed, they can be killed, they can be uh, kidnapped. One woman was paying a gang member $20 a day to keep her uh, safe. Bon, Cell phones save lives. The number of people who were recovered underneath the rubble were able to text their exact location in the house. People had cell phone service and needed these, these financial transactions. The economy was moving, but they needed to be facilitated. Uh, and mobile banking became evident um, as a result of the earthquake. Mobile phone penetration in Haiti is really significant. About 85% of Haitians own a phone. Without cell phones in Haiti, there is no communication. It's not a luxury. It's a basic need of survival. Since this device is already in the hands of uh, the majority of, of the population, it makes sense to use it also for financial services. You have a very strong platform for mobile banking to succeed, mobile payments, transfer from one person to the next, from one side of the country to the other, and international remittances. Uh, mobile banking is basically allowing someone uh, to do a banking transaction um, via telephone. Clearly the technology exists to allow a country like Haiti to become a cashless country. It is part of the initiative to enfranchise the disenfranchised. And we've seen that it can work. We've seen in Kenya, where there's a service called M-Pesa, there are more than 10 million clients now using their cell phone to save money and to transact with one another. It's the silver lining in a devastating situation. <laughs> Mobile payments are important because in a country like Haiti, there are only two bank branches for about 160,000 people. You might have a woman who has some extra money and she wants to hide it, and hide it from her husband, hide it from herself by buying a goat. But when she needs just a few dollars, you can't just sell half the goat, you have to sell the whole goat. So it can, uh, it can be an illiquid and expensive way of saving money. All my money is in cash and it's not at the bank. Where is it? In my mattress? What happens if my house burns down? So linking cash-based intervention and mobile banking is taking this relief effort one step further because as we do this, we also educate people to make the most of financial services. We're right in the middle of phone distribution, just so that we can begin the training on how to use a mobile phone to receive payment after a heavy cash for work day. Oh, 
Yeah. She, she's never had a phone before. And I said, you'll learn fast. And she said, yes, yes, yes. It's really a tool that the government can use to improve the quality of its services to, to the citizens. So by using the mobile technology, we can actually bank outside the bank. The, the benefit to, to someone's uh, a poor person having savings, it reduces their economic vulnerability. They're able to uh, plan out expenses, invest in their, in their small businesses. People are amazing. They're really getting it. They're really sort of using their phone to test out the power of mobile money. It's a, it's a company Africa that is favorable to us. We are there, right at the beginning of it. You know, we're the first one doing it. I mean, this is the best idea we've ever had. I will bet that one year from now, we will have seen the greatest success of mobile money in the world in Haiti. That's going to look great. <laughs>